Wow, what a month. October is coming to an end, and just like that, it's almost over with, and Halloween will be here tomorrow. And we're less than 30 days away from, from Thanksgiving, so the end of the year is coming up on us quite fa really fast. October is always a, a busy month here at the Chamber. We had over 225 people attend the annual celebration on October 10th this year, which was great, where we had over 50 nominees for the awards that we gave out. Um, thanks to Les and Jim's for uh, allowing us to have it there. It was The food was fantastic. Uh, everything turned out to be great. As a matter of fact, I want to stress the awards that evening. Uh, for our hometown business of the year, it was the West Side Market with Mark Raymer and his staff over there. They do a fantastic job. The mid sized business of the year was Associated Bank of Merrill. Emily Gibson is the uh, branch manager over there. Our small business of the year um, was the Lincoln County Humane Society, uh, led by Liz, her staff, and, and tons of volunteers. They do a fantastic job over there. The large business of the year was Les and Jim's. Uh, with Mark Bars and his staff. Um, they, they, if you want to bowl, they've got any kind of bowling that you want. If for leagues for younger kids, as young as three and four years old, all the way up to the senior citizens, or like me. Uh, and the nonprofit of the year was the Merrill Police Association, which is headed by John Stubbe. I want, they do a tremendous job. They keep our community safe. There are so many things that go on that we don't know about, which is a fantastic which is great. And the Legacy Award this year, this is the third year in a row, a third year in a row that we gave out a Legacy Award, was given to Weinbrenner and Thoroughgood Boots. They've got a tremendous history here in Merrill. Uh, they've been here for over 80 years, I believe. Uh, and it's led by uh, Jeff Burns and his entire staff over there. They, they just, they're so involved with the community and they do a fantastic job. I wanna thank the sponsors, uh, the attendees, all of those individuals that donated um, baskets for our raffles, if you weren't able to attend the celebration, I would invite you to come next year. It's always the second Thursday in October, but we couldn't do this without you and your support of the chamber. We certainly appreciate it, and it was greatly, um, it, it was a good time had by all. A week later, we had our annual chamber planning session that was held over at the uh, Rusty Moon Acres the board got together and we planned out 2025 and what we wanted to do and where we want to go as a Chamber of Commerce. In terms of board members, every year we have a number of people drop off of the board because their, their terms have expired. Uh, this year it will be Kurt Russ from Nicolay Bank. He will, he have served on the board for over six years, for six years I should say, and also Ryan Martinovich from the Merrill Area Public Schools. With that in mind, they had to, we had to um, elect new board members. We sent out a request for individuals to be nominated for the board, and the board of directors had approved and voted for the following. Uh, Melissa Reicha from Park City Credit Union will be on the board for beginning January 1st of 2025. Tricia Dietert from the Merrill Area Public Schools and Nancy Stadler from Nicolay National Bank. All three of those individuals will be on the board going forward. I look forward to working with them in the future. We are in the final stages of putting together the, our annual visitor guide. Uh, this year, we, we, we took it upon ourselves to do it. Uh, Teresa Grund, Sarah Sturm, and Cheryl have done a tremendous job in getting this all together, and we're in the final stages. So we're hoping to have this all done and in our possession before the end of this year. Uh, we're looking to print off over 20,000 copies this year and give them out to a number of uh, individuals and we'll distribute them throughout the state of Wisconsin and through Minnesota, Iowa, and Illinois. So everyone's aware we're going to have some staffing issues here over the next couple of weeks. Cheryl will be going on the trip with uh, Harder Travel, uh, sponsored by the Chamber, to Portugal. It will be going 10 days from November 1st to the 11th. By the time they fly by and Cheryl gets um, back into the swing of things, she'll be back in the office on November 13th. During that time, Sarah and Teresa will be here in the office. They're gonna be splitting time here. So if for some reason uh, the office is closed, they will let you know that in advance through our Facebook and webpage. Uh, I will be having some surgery tomorrow and I'll probably be out for about four to five weeks. Uh, hopefully less than that, but um, we'll see how things go. 
But with that in mind, I want to thank each and every one of you for your continued support uh, in the chamber in what we're trying to accomplish here. Thank you and have a great day.